Hello, my beautiful. So yesterday, me and my sister was talking, and she reminded me about something. Um, I used to be really insecure about being skinny. Like, I used to be super insecure about it. And it's because I used to get bullied about it. Like, girls used to joke on me, call me names. And boys used to say stuff about me if they got mad at me, if I didn't talk to them or do something they wanted. But yeah, that was a major insecurity I had going on by myself. And then when I got older, um, I guess I grew more into myself and I started modeling and stuff like that. So that kind of, you know, killed that insecurity for me. But I still deal with that shit today. I actually had like two people ask me, two men ask me what I consider having um, plastic surgery. One asked me about my breasts. Like, would you ever consider getting a breast implants? Because this shit ain't, this is padded bra. And I can say that with pride because I don't give a fuck. But anyway, and then somebody else asked me would I um, get like my butt enhanced and you know, my sides slendered, whatever the fuck that is. But you know, like basically when women have that surgery so they can be shaped like a um, Coke bottle. But everybody is not meant to be shaped like that. Why Why society made it like that? Like nowadays, every woman is supposed to have a perfect bottle shaped physique. And like women literally be super insecure about that. Women are out here sick going to have surgery and fucking their bodies up, getting sick and stuff like that. To basically please these men who at the end of the day don't want to do nothing but fuck. Sorry, I'm, I gotta say it. They just want to have sex with you. That's all they want. Which is why I'm cool with being slim. Like, I don't even want, like, big, really big breasts and a big booty. Because that ain't gonna do nothing but attract vultures to me. Like, I'm the type of woman, I, I'm very grateful for my, for my beauty, for my shape, all of that. But that that's not they don't define me like i don't get excited because a man want to talk to me because of what i look like i don't that don't arouse me no more when i was younger yeah but i'm getting older now like i want to i want my husband i'm not trying to just be out here fucking around you feel me and i want to know what's in your head like do you got some do you got a brain do you got some sense can you teach me some shit? you know can we feed each other you know i don't care how fine you is and another thing these men be out here telling us what our body should look like when they ass don't be in shape themselves like you ain't fine you ain't who real real fine you ain't chris brown nigga you ain't got no chris brown body you ain't got no damn um what the shit when they wash clothes <laughs> your abs don't look like that so why why you feel like I gotta have the magazine body? And to my ladies, do not let them get in your head and make you feel like something is wrong with you. Cause there are very beautiful women who were slim or who did not have big asses and big breasts, but they are considered beautiful. Aaliyah for one was a very slim woman and she is ab absolutely drop dead gorgeous, you know? And the right man for you will not ever want you to change yourself. Like they gonna love all of you, every piece of you. So don't ever let nobody make you feel like, oh, I'm not, I'm not fine. Like, I'm out of shape. Like, no, you're not. You are beautiful. That's just the way that society has programmed us. Because people are so, like, easily influenced and, I'm sorry to say, simple-minded. They really let people get in their head about that shit. Every woman is not meant to be shaped like a Coke bottle with a fat ass. Like, that's just not reality. And to my ladies who are shit like that, that is what is up, you know? I appreciate all bodies, you know? I'm I'm very open. <laughs> I, I do, like, I love to look at women. I think women are very beautiful, all shapes and sizes. And I don't mean that I want to be with them or I want to fuck them. That just, I just appreciate God's, you know, artwork, basically. But don't ever let nobody tell you that you are not beautiful, that you are not fine, because I'm fine as fuck. I don't care what nobody got to say about that. And I'm not being arrogant. That just me being confident and loving myself and knowing what is up. I'm not going to let nobody tell me I need to have no plastic surgery, because I don't, and I will never do that. And my husband, like I said, going to love every piece of me the way that I am. I just want to speak on that shit 
stop doing that. Stop making women feel like they're not good enough or they need to go have surgery to please y'all lying, cheating asses anyway. And, and since you doing all that for him and he's still gonna go uh, chase the next plastic ass body, fake ass body, the moment he get bored with you. Which is why you have to build a relationship or a bond on love. Like what's in here and what's in here. Not about the body, you know. I do got to be attracted to my partner, don't get me wrong. But I feel like I fall in love with people by who they are and how they make me feel inside. And once that is connected, everything on you is beautiful. Like I love every everything on you, every piece of you. Every flaw, all that. I'm just saying. I was glad I ain't got my other phone today. Because I was going to turn up for y'all. But I'm out of town. <laughs> but yeah. To my beautiful ladies. Love your body. Because you fine. Don't go have no damn plastic surgery to please these folks. Unless that's what you want to do. And I'm not going to tell nobody what to do with their body. I don't believe in it. But if that's what you want to do. Do it for you. Not for no other man. If you don't want to do that shit. Don't do that. Because you fine just where you are. And like I said. Your man going to accept you. The right man going to accept you the way that you are. All right. <laughs>